Today's challenge is to uh, analyze a piecewise function. And a piecewise function is made up of several functions, each with its own domain. So uh, the first portion of the function has to do with the equation f of x equals 2x plus 5. And the domain is uh, negative 3 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 0. So we'll evaluate the endpoints and draw the segment associated with this function and that domain. So f of whatever equals 2 times whatever plus 5. And so whatever we put in here, we have to put in there. If we put a negative 3 here, we'll put a negative 3 there. And what we get is negative 6 plus 5, which equals negative 1. So the ordered pair then is 1, 2, 3, the x-coordinate of negative 3, the y-coordinate of negative 1. Negative 3, negative 1. Now, the, the, uh, on the other end, uh, x is bounded by 0. So f of 0 equals, and by inspection, that will equal 5. Because 2 times 0 is 0, so we're just left with a 5. So our ordered pair now will be 0, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'll put an open circle here. and. The location of this point is 0, 5. And the reason that's an open circle is because we can't include the x-coordinate 0. So we'll get infinitely close to that x-coordinate and the y-coordinate of 5, but we'll never get there. And so here's our segment. Now the next uh, part of the piecewise function is uh, f of x equals uh, negative 3. And that is for the x-coordinate 0. So we'll go down here, 1, 2, 3, uh, 0, negative 3. And notice, negative or x equals 0 is the only x-coordinate in the domain of this function, or this portion of the function. Now we'll look at the last part, and that's f of x equals negative 5x. And the domain for this portion is x is greater than 0. So let's uh, look at the lower bound of this thing. So f of 0 equals 0. So we'll put an open circle here at 0 because we can't include 0 the x-coordinate 0. And uh, uh, the ordered pair here, of course, is 0, 0. Now, we need to come up with some other point so we can graph the ray associated with this portion of the piecewise function. So let's just evaluate f of 1. And f, uh, let's see, 5, negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. So now we have the ordered pair 1, 1, negative 5. And we'll draw our ray from the origin through this point. Oh. And so as the graph goes, we're done with this portion of our analysis. Well, now we'll state A, the domain of the function. And notice, uh, the uh, leftmost x-coordinate that we have graphed is negative 3. And all x-coordinates to the right of negative 3 uh, are on the graph of this function. So then the domain equals the set x such that x is greater than or equal to negative 3. 
Uh, now we have to find the intercepts B. And we'll look at the Y intercept first. And we can see by inspection that the Y intercept occurs at 0, negative 3. So the Y intercept is 0, negative 3. Now we'll find the X intercept. And by inspection, we can see that the only X intercept occurs right here. It's associated with that uh, uh, portion of the function described by f of x equals 2x plus 5, so x intercept. And as I said, this point's associated with the uh, portion of the uh, piecewise function described by f of x equals 2x plus 5. What's the uh, y coordinate here? It's 0, so we'll let f of x, which is y, f of x equals 0 and solve. If f of x equals 0, then we have 2x plus 5 equals 0. Subtracting 5 from both sides, we have 2x equals negative 5. Dividing both sides by 2, we have x equals negative 5 over 2. And that's the x-coordinate of the x-intercept. So, negative 5 halves 0 describe the x-intercept. That's the point where the x-intercept occurs. The uh, Part D, Part C, is the graph. Well, we've graphed that, so we'll go on to Part D, and we have to uh, state the range of the function. So R equals the set Y such that, and by inspection, you can notice you notice that the upper bound on Y is five. We never get there, but we get infinitely close to five as far as all values below 5, all y coordinates below 5, they are accounted for. So the range is y such that y is less than 5. Finally, E, the question E asks, on what intervals is the function continuous? So, the uh, function is continuous on and uh, let's describe those intervals. Well working from left to right uh, starting at negative 3 we are continuous all the way up to, but not including, zero. So the bracket implies we can include negative three. The parenthesis implies that zero is not included. And in union with, and uh, the next portion of the function that's continuous is the final portion. And that has a lower bound of zero and an upper bound of uh, infinity. And notice these intervals, these are not ordered pairs. These are intervals and they're intervals associated with the x-axis. So x goes from negative 3 to 0. It's continuous on that interval and it's also continuous from x equals 0 to x equals infinity. And we are done.